古びた川の日よがみの本で閉じられた紙の端は不揃いだ so can you see hyo by itself? You ever see hyo by itself? Hyo. Do you? Is this a word that you just see on its own? Hyo? Yeah. Do you ever see that just on its own, just by itself? Without by any itself. other kanji? It's almost. Om You're right. Om omote? Yeah, it's something like that. So if we got the hyo reading here, why are you getting a married reading with a single reading? Remember, these two readings should match. They should be on the same page. Not a healthy right, relationship. So this should be hyo, hyo kami. Hyo kami. No, no so no. Ka hyoshi. Yes, hyoshi. So kami and gami are exactly the same. There's no difference between kami and gami. This is just rendaku, right? You're just adding vibration to the ka, um, which tends to happen in married reading. I mean, friends with benefits. Hi. This is hyoshi. Hi. Yoshi no hon. Yoshi no hon de. Fuzoroida. The edge, the edge of the binded, the edge of the paper, the bind, the edge of the paper that was bind is uneven. Fuzoida. And, and it's how else do we know about this in book? the book the book with a leather cover that is use right, it looks old that was worn right. um kami no shioriya kawaita ha The bookmark of paper and the dry leaves. Chizu no kire bashi nado. Along with loose pieces of a map. Such things ga hazamate. It's puff up. Hazamate. So hasamaru does not no, mean no, the puff it's up. Hi, exactly. To it's be wedged. Wedged. Um. Uh. Ha. Ban ban ni. Fukuran de iru. Right. Pan pan. Pup pup. It's big. It puffed right. up in a exactly. puffy way. So here with ki kirehashi, uh -huh. as you can see, we have a hiragana character, re, in between ki and hashi. If it was ki and then hashi, then it would probably be bashi. Um, but there is a hiragana character in between this um, for this compound word. So because of that, it'd be odd to add rendaku. You never see that you know when there's a hiragana character in between so it's just kirehashi Hi. so it, kirehashi wakata the edge the loose loose end or the loose Hi. pieces so all together can you summarize so, the sentence uh, Hi. all together is 
Um, the topic here is still the book. Hi, and that's that, the topic of our paragraph. Um, the, the paragraph. However, the subjects here are the bookmark, the dry leaves, and the loose pieces of map of map of the map. Right. They are wedge. They are being wedged right. into the book. Right. And therefore, um, it's puffed off. Right. The book so is puffed, puffed off puffed in a puff way. Right. Perfect. Sono mama, and in that way, in that state, right, of being maru puffed up. Do maru goto, maru goto, kagi no suita, asui kawa no yubi de obi, tomete, obi. Using the obi, the harness of leather, of a thick leather, um, and it has a key attached, or not a key, it had a lock attached to the obi, um, along with a maru go. Marugoto is, uh, is a adverb. Maru means round, um, is my hint. It bounds. It tomete ata. It bounded the book, rounded in a rounded way. Close. It yes. Rounded the Maru goto, roundedly, means holy. Holy. Hi, like it bound 100%. the whole book. Hi, exactly. They bound the whole book in that bound way. The book, of... Along with all of the contents that was uh, that was hazamate in the book together. Mm. Perfect. Okay, now we'll be jumping over here to this. What does the bolded fray part mean? Really read that. Hazire kakate iru. Hazire. It's, it's, um, it's almost came off, but it still hangs on. Perfect. It's out of place, but not completely. Right. Perfect. So let's go read this phrase. Example such a. Kawa no obi kara. Kagi ga hazreta. The lock almost came off. No, no. The lock completely came off of the belt of leather. Perfect. And what's this word? Jumong, a spell. Perfect. An incantation. And sasayaku? Sasayaku. Otonashiku shiro. Oh. Ah. Sasayaku is to whisper. Hi. To speak whisper. softly. Perfect. And you did that oh, one good last can. time. So let's go read this example sentence. Jumon o sasayaku to. Nikuo means burn or to cook. Sorry, not really cook, burning or cook it. Cook. cook. To barbecue something is. Hi, to roast. Um, what is that? Uh, what is that food? I forgot completely now. This is ya. The thing they grill. Yaku. Yaki yaki Hi. Perfect. And a curiosity is this yaita. um jumon or jumon? Long u or short u? 
two on or do on. Feel like short. Ooh. You're right. It's short. Two. Perfect. While we're doing that, I'm gonna quickly uh give myself the ability to write get it gonna. Okay. Um. So what does this sentence say? This sentence say that as when when the spell is spoken is whisper the the meat is was cooked perfect um so uh bakari has two possible meaning uh, three basic meanings and we're going to be leading one of the ways it can be used to mean um as if toyu wan bakari ni for example means as if saying this right here is a little bit different than that version which is just tobakari ni. Um, can you do me a favor and read the sentence up here for me? Otoko wa datte ike tobakari ni. Doa o saketa. Good guess. Aketa. Akeru. Aketa. Right. So, wa as de if... Deke. Remember, de. Deru, that's it. As if to, as if to go out, the man, as if to go out, he opens the door. Good guess. We do have opens the door here. Perfectly correct. Doro akita. Open the door. So, the boy opened the door. Correct. The thing that's wrong is the uh, dete ike to bakari ni so this right here is a lot like iwan bakari but it has a to particle here to insinuate a quotation so this is actually used for um metaphors of speech so dete ike means uh get out that's a uh, ike is imperative form right that is an order go and deru means um to appear or to leave so here it means go away so as if saying go away the boy opened the door so this is one of those many ways Hi. to say as if to say something in quotation marks so how would you say as if to say hurry up they open their hand Or they waved their hand. Their Sorry, hand. I said open. It's waved their hand. I don't know why I said open. <laughs> As if to say, hurry up. So hurry. Okay, day here is. I guess in day here is um karera. Karera wa. Day. Uh, as if. To say hurry, hurry is hayai. So hayai hayaku is fast, so hayaku is hurry. Hazaku is hurry. So hayaku to bakari ni. As if to say hurry, comma, um, they wave their hand. So their hand is teo. Furueru. Good guess. Furueru oh, right. is to shake your hand. Like the idea of that your hands are okay. shaking out of like fear. And I normally take ga. Te ga furueru. My fingers are shivering. It's it's actually the furu here. I one. see. Not that furu. So, this furu is the food. one to shake. Which becomes futa. They sh waved past tense. But yeah. Perfect. Furu so is a is, hard word. Is it te o futa money? Or? It is o. You're or right. Is it te ga futa. Uh, it's, it's te o futa and te ga furueru. So furueru takes ga and furu takes o because you purposely shake things with furu. Um, okay. One is so, to shiver, the I, other is to wave. Yep. To wave or to shake. Furu is like. um. Normally, like a back and forth movement. Well, this is more like vibration, like a jishin, an earthquake. 
um, is that kanji, that shaking kanji right there. The ground shivers of idea versus this one's like I said, waving your hand. Um, but it doesn't have to be waving. For example, you shake your head, you don't wave your head. So it's that kind of back and forth kind of movement. Um, so taking that, you can say tobakari o mo, which would literally be as if to think, when used actually to mean you made a judgment too fast. Like I had thought this, but this thought I had was wrong, is how it basically is used. It just tobakari plus o mo. So it's a little bit exception to that rule we just looked at the last page. Um, can you read the line down here for me? Bonnie, quick question. Is this right. a grammar point in the N2 or N3, maybe? Um, Tobakari, I think, is on the N2, N3. I think Tobakari Tomo might not be an official grammar point. Could be. I'd have I, to like go like this, Tomote Data, know for sure. I don't always know. Like I thought some things are. That's weird. Oh, I didn't copy it. Copy it. N3 oh, is tobakari oh, koi mita. So I would assume tobakari is the same level. It probably is like a whole set of learning the tobakaris. So um, that's funny. Tobakari ni is N1, so but tobakari ni omota is N3. So they they went, they they teach you the, the, the set phrases before they teach you the actual grammar point. That is funny. So that's an N3 and an N1. Um, Hi. So it's as if to think, but what it means is you made too quick a decision. Right. You made a judgment too right. quick. Yes. So what does Kagi? Kagi here is a, it's a lock. So Kagi ga kakate to bakari omote ita. You made the judgment to lock too quickly. Good guess. You um, decided it says locked lock. here, like it was locked. So this is like I had thought it was locked. I had made the judgment too quickly and had thought that it was already locked, but I probably should have double checked. As in the door was unlocked, but I assumed it was locked, is how it's used. So, mm. so in English, so this to say I had thought. Right. It's in some way a false judgment in the way. Yes. It's a misjudgment. Exactly. A misjudgment. Right. Exactly. That probably is a better way of putting it. A misjudgment. Hi. Right. Do um, you know what tsubayaku means? Tsubayaku. Quickly. Good guess. You're thinking about su. Su. Tsubayaku. Means swiftly. This is tsu. Tsu, tsubu, tsubuyaku. Tsubayaku, tsubayaku, tsubuyaku. Tsubuyaku is to tap. Tap on Good something. Good guess. Right? Um, tsubuyaku is to, um, should be to mutter. Ah, to mutter. Right. Or to grumble. Tsubuyaku. So here he says, I'm kind of voice rather than saying come boy he kind of mumbles it while he um takes A his staff hi review here so to whisper okay. is sasate no, to sa, whisper sa, 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 yeah, good. Sa, sa, yeah, good. to whisper is sasayagu to sa, sa, mutter yeah, it's subuyaku. So they both end with the word yaku. Hi. Sasayaku and subuyaku. One is to whisper, the other is to mutter. But isn't that mean similar things, right? To speak yes. softly. Well, um, subuyaku is a deeper sound, right? If you're tsubuyakuing, you should still be vibrating in your throat. You should still be voicing everything. While a whisper normally lacks voicing, right? If you say it, that is a whisper. But if you say, 
that's that like like they're similar but they are separate things right to murmur to mutter or to right. rumble are different than to whisper they do have um different qualities so they're different words in english right. as well this this subuyaku subuyaku in a way have the connotation of he doesn't like something okay, that's why he yeah. kind of mumbles <laughs> speech he doesn't cool. want he doesn't want that particular thing that like something is annoying him. That is definitely possible. In this specific case, I think it's more that um nobody has a grumbly voice. And he's and he's also grumpy. Uh, but it, it kind of is more like he te- nobody doesn't really normally whisper that much. Though I guess he is whispering in the next line. Uh, but it, I guess you're right, it does have a little bit of a grumbly, upset kind of feeling. Fine, come boy. Right. <laughs> So that that is a good one. same with English really. Okay, so to grill let's... to roast a well, I'm sorry, Monty, one one more thing. To roast to roast the meat was yaku. Hi. Like Most likely niki, niki no o, relationship. Niku, niku o. Yai yai ta. Hi, that's from Yaku. yaku. <laughs> Yeah, because it's just okay. like a common sound in Japanese. Enough. Probably not. Um, uh, there's not an official kanji, so theoretically they could be related, you know. But there's also kagayaku. I think just yaku is a very common like ending for things. That means like to shine kagayaku. Um, but yeah, I I have no idea. Right. <laughs> um, okay, now we get to go read the line from the book. Fumu fumu kore wa hum hum kore wa yake ta to bakari omote ita wai nebari ga subuyaki Ma dosekyo tori daste jumon o sasayaku to. So here we have both word verbs going on here to Hi. to mutter and whisper. Hi. Um, pon to. Chisana oto to tomo ni kagi ga hazureta. We also have the three lock. different ands here, which I think is cool. Uh, I love this sentence. It has so many things summarizes here. The lock came off. Hazureta. That's the result of this whole paragraph. Right. Uh, this whole sentence. And he had a quote here. He say, hmm, hmm, kore wa this, uh, yaketa to, yake, yake, yake here is to roast. So yaketa right. was to be roast. Was roast. They were to a transitive roast. versus this intransitive thing. pair. Hi. So what, what he say is he's saying, I thought this thing was roast, it. <laughs> but it wasn't. It it I misjudged. Hi. Tobak it is in a good that. condition. Itawai is a adjective. Omote ita, omote ita. Te form omote plus ita. iru. Y e is to say, right? Kind of. Um, y e is basically old man version of wa which is the feminine ending marker but it's why to make it sound like a male statement ending marker so this is just saying this is a statement you can say it's kind of like yo but it's not aggressive right it's like wa this wa you know like that but it's, it's specifically for like maleness so he just sounds like an old why? man it's not really adding anything well, to the I... sentence See, so here is nobody saying, hmm, I thought it was roasted. Yep. 
uh, nobody got subuyaki. He mutter. Right. What did he mutter? And he mutter. I thought it was roasted. Perfect. Um, madoseki o tori dashite. He he. Tori does that mean to start? So he's he starts. So you're to... thinking about tori kakaru. Tori kakaru means um to start, uh -uh. which is tori to take and kakaru to start. To start taking. This is tori does it from dead. Right, this this here is he take out the stone. He does right. it. He take out the magic stone. And he chumo o sasayaku to. When he speak a incantation or when he's whisper an incantation, pon is a sound. Right. And to jisana o to a small sound. To tomoni together. A small sound and a pon together. Um I think uh, it got confused to as to down here. So this is um three different toes in this sentence right here. We have to, which is um sentence to, uh, which means this happened and then this right afterwards. This to right over here is quotation to or adverb marker to. And the one down here is and to, which is used to mark nouns. To tomo ni. Pon to oto. Like to you oto, right? So the last to, what does it mean, Mani? It's a to, to, mo, ni, meaning the both of them? Um, to, mo? So, ni, I'm going to start here because I feel like it makes it easier. Ni is a adverb marker saying that this right here is describing the way in which it has it that, the way in which the kagi came off. The kagi came off in a way that was together with sound. So it means it came off with sound. So you see how that to right here is not an adverb marker here because it's saying it's with. It's not it with. It, it's it's with the 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 adverb is down here at tomo. So along with sound, the key went off, and the sound was small. It was a tiny sound. It wasn't a loud sound, but a tiny one. And the sound it made was. Boom. Quotation, quotation to, um, and to, and condition to. Right. The three toes. And it came off. The key came off. Mani, can you save this sentence? Yeah. <laughs> Star it. Good. Superstar for the sentence. Hi. It had um, three to, it had two different whisper and mutter. It had three uh, different ways of using an, stem form, te form, and to. Yep. Uh, and you can really see had... a good example here. I take out my stone so I can now whisper the magical spell, right? These two are much more related than these right. two actions where he's just muttering like, oh, I thought this had burnt. These two are pretty separated it between them. The huh, it was burnt and taking out the grammar. Shop shows the differences This is a super really cool. well. Da. This sentence is really cool. It also had to bakuri to motte. Ita and why? Why is kind of useless. It's just also nonsensical old man Japanese. Why? He's used why before in this book. It just Aye. it doesn't add anything. It's it's just like the feminine marker wa, but used specifically for old man characters. Um and you know uh, this this sentence is actually amazing, Mani, because it also illustrate another grammar point that was tricky for me was, it started with the topic wa kore wa this book, right. and then it changed subject twice. It referred to nebori as the subject, and then later on it refers to kagi as the subject. So here it it made the clear distinction between the use of ga and the use of wa. Right. In it does. this one sentence, you can see. Yep. Yep, because this whole thing is kind of about the book. This book I was thinking was burnt. Oh, it was weird. Um, next word. Can you read it for you me? Made the point. 
。What? <笑>はい。そっちのけ。So, so, ちのけ so, ち means here, ignoring that, that. something. Yeah, it does from、um, sore, right? Probably related to that. But so, ちのけ means to ignoring something, to have ignored, like a noun. Something has been ignored.、Um, can you read this for me? Hi. Dorobo wa ma jutsu shi so, ちのけだ,けだそっちのけだ。あ、uh,、the thief had for had um ignored the thief ignored the magicians。はい、yep。I wonder。はい。is this majutsu shin is it modifying the following noun そっちのけ。yeah、this is like そっちのけ is kind of like a compound verb thingy。kind of like だから。Um, sorry, that was a red word. I meant to say, um, darake was what I was thinking of, right? You can just add darake、right. to things like, uh, gara, uh, kuta darake, meaning full of garbage. So, sochi no ke is that same kind of thing that kind of just gets added to what it's describing. So, literally, it says the magician who was ignored, basically. the The magician of being ignored by the dorobo. Like it doesn't really translate well to English because we don't really use, I would say, these kind of suffixes in English, but these are relatively, you know, common in Japanese, like darake.、Um, so it is basically a suffix to describe the magician being ignored. Okay. Um, can you read、はい、this for me? So, or mimio? Um, she in this context. She. Sorry, it's me. It's me in this context, all right? Mio. Nori dasu. Hi. Mio. So, Mio nori dasu. To stick out writingly your body、um, means to lean forward. Mio n o r i d a s e To lean forward. Hi. What is the te form of this word? n o r i d a s e n o r i d a s h i t e Hi. Let's go read this example sentence. n o r i d a s h i t e Nori does that to lean forward. Yo jin bo wa mio nori does t a The bodyguard leans his body forward. Perfect. And I just thought I'd randomly point out it's not needed for this book, but this can also be used if you want to lean out a window or something like that. So you don't have to be leaning while standing, it's any kind of leaning forward. Um, so let's go read the line from the book. Ore wa muffin sochi no ke de mi o nori dasta. I ignored the muffin and leaned my body forward. Hi. Contextually, he's probably leaning forward into Nevity's space to see what Nevity's doing with the magic, his magical stone with his book, you know? Because Khan's very curious about that.、Oh, he right, was、so. eating the muffin. He was he eating, he was kajiruing it. He was gnawing on it. This muffin has the longest life spine because he's gnawing on it. He's not biting into it, he's letting it last forever. Um, let's go read this ex- the sentence from the book. Nebari ga kizuite chiro to kochi o mita kozo shikoto ga aru daroka. 
sasat to yare. Nebri, he became aware. Kizuite, he noticed. And he looks. Jiropto in a, what way is Jiropto? That's kind of like to glance at somebody. Kind of like chida. So he gave. I would say it's like a longer in... glance than chida. So chida is like boom, glance, like a ping type of glance, while jiro is like a longer glance, it's like a side eye. So he looked glancingly. Kochiyo at me. I. And then said. And then he said. Kozo, boy, shikoto ga aru daroga, daroga. He say, don't you have work to do? Perfect. Don't you have work? Yep. Don't you have work to do? That's exactly Sato the yare. meaning of that. Sasato yare. He yare said, comes from the verb yaru get to. to do. Right. Right. He said, get on with it. Exactly. Go Hurry up it. and get on with it. Do it. Go. Sasato. Our next word is hajiku, which is a u verb, not a noun. Um, and it means to flick. Um, in the context of the book, it's not being used as a literal flicking somebody, but kind of like to pop up to your feet as like a contextual word. But hajiku means to flick. Um, can you read this example sentence of using the word flick? Yojinbo wa dorobo o hachi hachi ta flick. The bodyguard flicks the thief. Perfect. And what is the passive form of to flick? Hachi eru. Oh no, this is hachiku. So hachi kaeru. Yeah, basically, kareru. Kareru. Okay, so we needed that R there. Hajikareru. Perfect. Hajikareta. So let's go read the line from the book. Hajikareta. Ah, oh, so da da. So da da. Kore wa hajikareta you ni tachi agatta. I stood up. He thinks to himself, ah, yes, that's right. So that, um, ore wa I, as if being flicked, kachi kareta. So, I stood up, tachi ageta. So, it literally, that is how I would be, as if I was flicked, I stood up. So yeah, that's, that's basically um perfect. In English, if we were trying to um, translate the sentence naturally, we would say, I stood up like a spring, is probably how we would say it, like a spring, rather than saying stood up like I was flicked. But literally, it says, I stood up like I was flicked. So yeah, perfect. I just want to point out the spring um, word that we use in English instead. Um... Hi. And it's another good example how Yoni is talking about the physical action of being flinged not the appearance because he wasn't like flung across the room right when he stood up but they're more talking about that speed of the action because when you flick someone you flick really fast right you hold up and you go boom Hi. um how to read this bolded word right here Hi. uh cloth is perfect no 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 hi no no, no. Uh, Nuno is correct. Nuno. Um, do you know what fuku is like from hokore o fukitoru? Hokore o fukitoru. Hokori dust fukito ru. What happened to the dust? The dust fukitori. Uh, the dust covers. Good guess. That's mamiredu. 
Fuku means to wipe. And fukitoru basically means to wipe away. To wipe and the stuff you're wiping gets taken. So you take up the dust through wiping. Wiping. Hokori wo fukitoru. Because fuku means to wipe. Um, so I have two words here that are different words. And they both start with t. Can you tell me which one, what they mean? So here we have poketo ni. Tsukomi, to stick into the pocket, to Hi. thrust into the pocket. Exactly. And this other one is nakami o tsukande. This is tsukamu, as in to hold on. Hi, perfect. To put your hand around something. Exactly. Perfect. Yep, I stick my hand into my pocket. I My hand surrounds the context, and then I leave the body. Um, can you read this word for me? The word is karada o hanatsu. Uh, Let's go look at that first kanji. Kake. Hi. Tabe kake. Hi. Uh, oh, what was this delay on your end? Haha, <laughs> slow internet. Um, tabe kake. Kake means leftovers. So tabe kate kake is just uh, leftovers of food, like crumbs and stuff. So let's go read the line from the book. Wait, Moni, what was the loose ends of pieces of paper? Is kire. Yep. Kire. Hashi. Um, Hashi. Loose pieces of paper. This Hai. is leftover pieces of food. Hai. Yep. Yep. Hai. 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 no muffin o. The leftover muffins, but the pieces of muffin. Right. Might say like half eaten muffin, might Ma be how we say that in English. A muffin that was leftovers. Tabekake no muffin o Mata Poketo ni Sukon Sukomu to Sukomu to Um Nuno o Sukande Sodana Sodam Sodama Sodana Sodana Kara Hong O Toridashi Hokorio Fuki Hachimeru I trust the half eaten muffin mata pocket ni mata here meaning once again right man right yeah once again once again into the pocket so come to i grab it and I. What do you grab? Sukomu. Why is it uh, say to sukomu? Oh, oh uh, tukomu is to stick into. I sukomu just stick into. I'm sorry. I stick the half-eaten muffin back into the pocket, and I hold on to the cloth. Nuno o sukande. And I, uh, tori dashi. I take out a book home from the shodana, from the bookshelf, and I begin to wipe, fuki, hachimeru, the dust. Perfect. Yep. Again, the wipe the dust. Probably the dust from the books. Do, 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 do. All those seem good. Um, do you know about ago shakurume? Ago shakudemiseta. Ago o shaku. 
Argo is the chin. Hi. Yep. I lift my chin. You don't lift the chin. Um, what does this um insinuate? What does lifting your chin mean? Does this convey meaning other than the literal action? Lifting the chin. For example, if I took my hand and lifted it left and right, that would insinuate I waved or said hello to somebody. What does shakuruing a chin insinuate? Don't Why do it, right? That is a good guess, but shakuru to jerk specifically or to scoop out or to ladle for some reason um to ladle out your chin means to jerk your chin or to point at something using your chin this is used um to um tell somebody information of the do something in a certain direction uh for example someone might do that kind of uh head jerking be like go talk to her or something when they can't say it out loud, they'll make eye contact with you and then jerk their chin to insinuate that you should go in a certain direction and do something. So in this specific sentence, um, most likely nobody jerks his chin toward the bookshelf to insinuate that Khan should clean it. Uh, contextually, he says like solji shiro or something right. that showed up. But it just means to jerk your chin to insinuate something, like to do something. Um, do you know what donaru means? Donaru. Donate da. To become? No, Good no, guess. no. That's naru. But this is donaru, do not to plus naru. Totally different. Um. Luckily, particles don't get rendaku, so Oto? no, for sure, that's not a particle. Do naru. Uh, if you sell the kanji, do naru, I do think it's a lot easier. Here it is. Do not do. So we have to make a sound. Hi. And to be angry. Yep, an angry sound. To yell. Yes, it is to yell. Specifically to yell in anger. They yelled something in anger. Um, okay, let's go read this line from the book. Koko de yaru na nebari ga donari. He yell. And doa no ho e ago o shakuta soto de yare. So he say, or he yell actually, nobody yell, koko de yaru na. Koko de is here, yaru is do. He say, "Don't stay here, don't do it here, don't don't, don't do it here. Hi. here." Exactly. Um. Doa no ho e at the direction of the door. Ago o shakuta. He pointed. He scooped his chin towards the direction of the door, and Hi. he said. So do it outside. Perfect. And of course, Khan's response is his uh city foot, his catchphrase. He say, Hi, hi. Wakari masta yo. Hi, <laughs> hi, wakari masta yo. Yeah, yeah. He say, I, got I, already it. Know. I know. Um, do you know what sagyo means? Sagyo is a production or is a um like a product, no, like a um kind of. 
Yeah, I guess, I guess that's right. Um, it's it's more on the operation side of things, but um, so it does mean like a a product in a way, um, but it doesn't mean like a physical product normally. Um, sagyo suru, for example, means to work, like shigoto suru, but you normally say sagyo suru, not shigoto suru. So shigoto means work, and to do work is normally sagyo suru or hataraku. Um, so to do work. Um, can you read this word for me? Ichi nichi. Ichi nichi chu. Hi, you think it'd be that, but I'm pretty sure it's chu. Ichi nichi chu. Oh, it is chu. Never mind. You were right. Ichi nichi chu. And this means all throughout the day. Ichi Hi. nichi chu. Um, start with ichi and end it with ju. What is the middle? Started with uh nichi. Hi, ichi nichi ju. Perfect. So let's go do this example sentence. Um Meshi Sky wa ichi nichi ju sagi yo shakyo shita. Um, the servant works the whole day, the entire Perfect. day. Perfect. Our next word, toto no eru, um, is a do verb, and it means to tidy up. Toto no eru. What is the ta form of toto no eru, which is a do verb? Toto no eta. Is there a glad to stop there? Eta. No glass. Total no Perfect. Let's go read this line from the book. Um, ona ko. No, it's not ona. It's. It is, it ona. is ona. Ona ko. Ona ko shaku no yojinbo wa. The bodyguard of the Duchess. Heya no naka o. Totonoeta. Uh, he um what did he do to the middle of the room? The or, middle of the room? To the in, in, in the inside of the room. The knockout. Ah, he did something in the room. Yeah, yeah, no. he, he tidied up the room. He, he tidied up the insides of the room. Tidied up. Totono do. Um, do you know what otte means? Ote. Right, from o. He catches up. Yeah, mm. to catch, to chase specifically. Um, if you want to specifically mention catching up, you'd say oi tuku, which is to chase and attach. Um, so ote just means to chase. Whether or not you caught up, who knows? Um, can you read Hi. this phrase for me? Um Uh, what is it? He he good at he good at no kimi. Ni owari, ni owareru shi. Mi. No, owareru mi. Eh, owareru mi. Ah uh, ah. Uh. I. I forgot what this means, Mani. Something about the Lord of Twilight, the body so that... So what does Ote mean? That... Ote, to chase. To chase. What is the dictionary form of Ote? Dekinai. No, dictionary form. The dictionary form of ote dictionary is form. o. So that's the form you find in the dictionary because ote is te form. O, what Hi. is the um passive form of o? Passive. O. 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 A. O. A. Better. 
。おわえる。おわえる。はい、おわれる。Perfect. So we got おわれる、which is what we saw、um, in this sentence. おわれる。To be chased. So a me that was chased. What does this mean? I mean, I who is being chased by the Lord of Twilight. Hi. One who was chased by the Lord of Twilight. Me is I in this specific context, but、uh, o w a r e d u me. One who is chased by Lord of Twilight. And this is used of being a wanted person in this context, of course, but it, it is just literally a, to be chased by. So in Japanese, you can say shikoto ni o w a r e d u to be chased by your job. To mean that your job gave you like so many things to do and you're running yourself ragged. Shigoto ni o w a r e d u To be chased, your job is chasing you. <laughs> to be chased by your job. So that's a kind of idiom.、Um, in this specific book, they rather than using the word shigoto, they say sagyo. So the meaning is the same. Sagyo ni o w a r e d u To be chased by work. So let's、Walk、go read、that. our line from the book. This might be our last line of the day. It depends how long it takes. Hi. So no he wa san nin tomo. And on that day, the three of them, ichi nichi ju, the entire day, so, so.、Mm. So, clean. so, so, I forgot. So, ji. Jo, so, ji. so, ji. so, ji to, um, oku, shiki, taku, ya, shiki. shiki, ya from heya, ya, and shiki from um to cover things, ya, shiki, ya, shiki, no. Naka o totono eru sakyo ni o wareta. They were chased by work. They were chased by the work of tidying up the, the inside of the mansions and cleaning. Soji to clean. It's it just like to say, like、I、tidying mean, up the house and cleaning just works better in English. But soji means yeah, tidying、clean. up the house. Right. So on that day, the three of them together w a s busy with tidying up, w a s chased by the work of tidying up and cleaning the mansions the entire day. Perfect. Yep, exactly what that means.、Um, I'm going to see how many lines till the next guy. Quite a bit. So, this is where we're going to pause for the day. I'm going to stop sharing. Do you have any 